Jesus the door, Jesus the good shepherd. Notice Jesus the life giver. He's been saying it over and over. I lay down my life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. Here it comes again, verse 16. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also. He's talking about the Gentiles. He's talking about us, actually. This is how we got into this. It was originally just for the Jewish people. Now it's for everyone, amen? amen. So he says, I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Awesome. How great it's going to be the day when there's no denominations and no separations and no sects just one shepherd and all of us under his leadership. Everyone say, awesome. Come, I mean, just, yeah, come Lord Jesus. And the, the unity, that, wait till we get to John 17 and you hear him praying for that, you know? And, and Jesus wants us to be one. Look up here. He wants Christians to get along, not to fight. He wants us to get along. What, what, do, you, what do you want for your adult kids? I got three adult kids. What do you want for your kids if they're grown? I want them to love Jesus and get along. After that, everything else is bonus. I just want them to love Jesus and get along. And what does Jesus want for his children? Yeah, yeah, come on up here. I need a hug for a second. Come on, come on. Come on. He, he wants us to, he wants us to love each other, and he wants us to get along. And that, are we getting along? We're getting along. We are, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes that means we have to be patient, and sometimes that means we have to be forgiving. And sometimes that means we just have to live with things. But it really matters to him. And, and you're going to see this a lot more when we get to John 17. But for now, just hear his heart. I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Awesome. For this reason, the Father loves me. Because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. Now, this is very important to Jesus, and he wants you to get this. No one takes it from me. Do you get it? I mean, you think about it for a second. Look up here. <laughs> he doesn't want you to be like, wow, wow, it got really crazy there, you know? I guess they, I guess they lost control. What's he doing on that cross? Ah! Every, uh, incorrect. He's not just the shepherd. The Bible says he's the lamb slain before the foundation of the world, before there was Adam and Eve, before there was apple, before there was fall. There was cross. This was always in God's plan. And Jesus Christ, God himself, wants us to know, hey, this wasn't something that went south, okay? No milk got spilt. This wasn't plan B. I don't do plan B. I'm the God of the universe. This was plan A always. I cre created you with choice. You chose wrong. I stepped in to save you from yourself. I'm the door. I'm the shepherd. And this wasn't some kind of disaster. No one takes my life from me. I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down. I, of course you do, of course you do. I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. Awesome. Jesus, the life giver. Now, I imitate his sacrifice for my freedom. Freedom is found. Jesus said, he who loses his life for my sake will, tell me, will find it, will find it. And joy and peace and fulfillment and abundance that Jesus describes, I have come that they might have life abundantly. Abundance is not found, loved ones, in hanging on to your life. Oh, my life, my life, this is my life. It's, it's, it's. Abundance is found in laying your life down. You give your life up. Give your life up for Jesus. Give your life up for your family. Give your life up for the church. You give your life up for the kingdom. And in laying it down, see, he said, no one took this from me. I just gave it up. Just laid it down. And 1 Peter 2 says, Christ also suffered for us, leaving an example that we should follow in his steps. So he's not, uh, 
He's not showing us. No miracles here. He's just flat out telling us. He's telling us this. I'm the door. Follow me to salvation. I'm the good shepherd. Embrace my ownership for security. I gave my life. Imitate me. And you'll experience freedom. Let's pray.